Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. You know, I figured since I kind of gave an instruction on uh, how to make a loincloth, I, uh, I also kind of dabble in making hats and stuff. And well, I lost my hat when I went to Catalina Island, so somebody there has a has 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 my hat there. I left it on the side of the road when I was out hiking. So I got to make myself another one, and I figured I might as well make a video of it while I was here doing it. I'm going to tell you how I did it because, well, there's probably not a whole lot of people out there making out my leather. Now, what, what I got here is I got this little caliper thing from uh, from a long time ago. And you can see it's got the little uh, little arcs and stuff on it. See how that works there? You use that to, to measure my skull, right? Now what I do is I measure my skull in three spots. I measure, I measure up here in the front, right? On on the temples, right? So you can kind of have a nice arc right there, right? That's not too hard to figure out. You gotta be kind of smart when you do this kind of stuff. Now back here on the back too, at about the same spot as the temples are. I take three measurements. And I also go from the point here all the way to the back of the skull. Now I also gotta remember where you want the hat to lie as well. But that also depends on the height of the leather, which also I'm gonna show you how to do. It's not that hard to figure out. It ain't rocket science. So what I've done is I had this one piece of leather left from my old cow that I raised back in, I don't know, probably 1985. And it's real nice heavy duty leather. And it's good tooling leather. You can see that it's it's got some thickness to it. It's some meaty leather. Right? So I mean if I was to get this wet and let it dry, it'd turn hard as cardboard. Which we don't want to do yet. But we're gonna get there. So once we get to that point, first thing we gotta do is we gotta figure out what we wanna do. So you can see right here, I've cut out the hole that my head's gonna go into, right? Not hard to figure out, all right? So took a measurement here, took a measurement here, all right? Drew a line between the two. Drew your arc for your forehead and your back. Don't worry, don't get too scared and freaked out now. Because I got a solution. I know what you're thinking. Alright, so once we cut that out, then we cut out the brim, which is all the way around, same distance all the way around, as big as you want it. Then, because I'm restricted in hide length here and hide size, I had to go with two different pieces here that I got marked out. I don't know if you can see them very well. They had little squares right there. Now how I got that was I took this little tailor tape stuff here with the ruler on it and I measured around my head, right? So measure around my head, which is the true distance which I need to be measuring, right? Well, it's about 21 inches, 21 and a half, because you know, you, I might want to have a little sweatband sewn in there, you know, to help cushion from between the uh, two pieces of leather stitched together. Because this is pretty thick leather, it's a pretty big step that's going to be, you know, kind of jumping on your head there. It might leave a little ring around your forehead after wearing it 20 or 30 years. Yeah, it'll last that long. So, what I've done is I cut it into two parts here. And I, each one is uh, 10 and a half inches long, 10 and 3 quarters. I gave myself a little leeway. And I got a little room here in case I decide to make this hole here. In case I decide to make this hole for my head, say it's a little, I feel it's a little tight, I can open it up a little bit before I actually punch my holes. Um, so once I get this all cut out, I'll put it on and see where it fits on my head and how I can get it to form. And then I use this piece that I cut out as the top part. Don't throw it away, don't fuck it up. Keep it, this is going to be the top part of your head here. Now, as you get the shape of that, you cut out little notches, which are equal in the amount of distance to the arc that you want to cut out. Now, what I mean by that, is you can kind of see a little thing there, if you got an arc there, where well, you want to cut the same arc going the opposite direction. So, you kind of have a little uh, little doohickey grabby thing you can grab onto on the front in case you want to, you know, have a stylish hat. It's going to be stylish though. It's going to be styling. So, 
once you cut that out and the appropriate angle so the distance is the same because you don't want to kind of mess up your stitch count because that's rather important which is the reason why these are cut out in rectangles okay because you want it to go straight up and down it's going to sit on the top of your head it's going to rest right there it's not going to grab around your head it, well, it's going to grab around your head, but it's not going to grab around your head. It's going to have, it's going to sit on your head. So, now to get that distance for the rectangle, obviously we got the half 21 and a quarter around back in here divided by two, right? Two? <laughs> now, once we got that, because we got it going straight up and down, we've got the straight stitch count, they're going to be rectangles. Now, Find out where it is, because I know mine, I want mine, I want my ears tucked in there, so I want it to sit just above my ears. Well, I go like that, and I kind of measure from the head, kind of just pull it across, it's not that hard, kind of get a distance, put that on your roller. Give or take a little bit for a stitch, you know, you want to be able to, uh, remember it's going to fold up over the top, and there's going to be a, uh, boy wowee, um, it's going to be laced through on top of the stitching uh, you'll see you later it uh, it's gonna get a little more complex and this requires a little bit more pressure um, but until then I'm going to uh, cut these pieces out and get them to where I can uh, punch them and stamp them and uh, do my next recording and uh, I'll get back to you shortly